For the third topic, we are learning about body fluids. So for this topic, uh, at the end of uh, this lesson, you should be able to understand the body fluid composition, uh, including fluids and electrolyte and other components in the fluids. Number two, you should be able to describe the function of body fluids. And the last one, be able to describe the, me the mechanism that maintain water and electrolyte balance in human body. Uh, in general, uh, fluid compartment in human bo body can be divided into two parts, extracellular fluids and intracellular fluids. The intracellular fluids, meaning it is inside a cell. So within a cell, there is a cytoplasm. So uh, the cyt cytoplasm with the presence of fluids is, is known as cytosol. Okay. Next is extracellular fluids, whereby the fluids can be found outside the cells. So there are three categories of extracellular fluids, which are inter interstitial fluids, okay, fluids that surround the cells, plasma, the fluids present in, in, in the blood, and the last one is transcellular fluids. For example, we can find uh, 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 within the epithelial lining spaces. In adults, uh, the fluids contribute quite high percentage to the total body mass. For example, uh, it contribute uh, fifty five percent and sixty percent of female and male, respectively. For the total body mass so if a male adult uh, having body weight of 100 kilogram then 60 60 kilogram is contributed by total body fluids in his body two-thirds of total body fluids is contributed by uh, intracellular fluids why one-third is extracellular fluids represented by uh, 80 percent of interstitial fluids uh, about 20 percent of plasma and the rest is transcellular fluids okay this figure uh, state the comparison the fluids differences between uh, male and female percentage so female uh, contain more fluids than male. So you can see there uh, the schematic diagram of a uh, proportion of extracellular fluids and, in, and intracellular fluids contributed to the highest uh, proportion in human body. As I said before, uh, the highest uh, percentage that contribute to total body mass of human being is water so water play vital functions in human body for example it involved in temperature regulation it provide lubrication for uh, process physiological processes in uh, human body it also involved uh, in transportation and so on so we need to say we uh, need to consume sufficient amount of water for uh, for uh, a good physiological processes. Uh, in uh, body fluids, uh, for example, uh, here we can we can see that there there are presence of a variety of electrolyte. So actually, electrolytes are available. Uh, in human plasma. So, uh, human plasma is considered as uh, extracellular fluids. Uh, so, it helps in transportation of electrolyte that we need for a major physio physiological function. Okay, for example, for muscle contraction, for controlling uh, micturition, for uh, controlling digestion uh, process, and so on. So we move to fluid balance in human body. So fluids uh, is actually uh, in human body uh, control continuously 
whereby uh, fluids or water in human body uh, is movable all the time. So there will be uh, what we call it homeostasis processes that uh, play in important function to make sure the balance level of uh, water. So uh, there are two uh, factors, two factors involved in controlling the balance. Uh, our body need to either uh, control the level of water and also the solute. So if let's say more water in human body, water will be removed through the maturation. And also if uh, then it will produce uh, uh, unconcentrated urine. Then if uh, salt or uh, solvent high relatively to water, then the salt will be expelled out, removed out by maturation process through the urine. Then we can say that we, that particular human being produce concentrated urine. Uh, since water, water is movable uh, across the compartment, so there are two barriers that separate uh, ICF, interstitial fluids, and plasma. There are plasma membranes and blood vessel wall. So here we discuss a little bit on cell sources of water gain and loss. So actually, uh, as, as I mentioned earlier, it should be a balance between uh, level of fluids and electrolyte in human body. So uh, intake of water and, and uh, electrolyte is really proportional. We need to say one liter of fluid cannot be equivalent to one liter of uh, uh, solvent, or we, we term it as electrolyte. Uh, it's not work that way. Uh, uh, those factors, those two uh, factors, fluids and electrolyte, no, need to be controlled by an organ, what we call it as kidney. So. Uh, so kidney will uh, filter the urine to uh, remove the excess uh, electrolyte to make sure uh, our body uh, can contain sufficient amount of water. So uh, human can gain water by drinking water, okay, and some uh, sometimes from a moist food, okay, and. Our body can lose water through uh, urination, evaporation, exhalation, okay, breathing, and also from from defecation process. Okay, this slide explains about the regulation of body water gain. It is a not a detailed one. Actually, uh, water level in human body is controlled by what you call it uh, hypothalamus. So hypothalamus can be simulated by uh, dehydration. So dehydration uh, can lead to decrease the flow of uh, saliva, uh, increase uh, blood osmolarity, and somehow de decrease blood volume. So all these factors can uh, simulate the hypothalamus that increase the feel of thirsty. Then it can uh, uh, stimulate human to consume more water. For the regulation of water and solute or electrolyte loss, basically it involves hormones that control the process. Uh, for example, we got here two uh, hormones, okay, two, two types of hormones. For example, angiotensin 2 and aldosterone. It promotes uh, salt reabsorption that uh indirectly conserve water uh, uh, and prevent it from uh, removed through the urine then we can uh, prevent from water loss and the next one is ANP that promote uh, naturesis which is a, a excretion of uh, sodium and, and chloride ion then uh, this process will be followed by water excretion then it can uh, lower down uh, excess water level in human body. 
uh, i think that's all for this topic if you've got any question regarding this topic feel free to contact me through my email